We should come. When I decided to take music as a as a career, I decided I'm gonna go back to my roots, being a shepherd, um, a, a guy from the village, you know, but just doing it with, um, you know, electronic music. <laughs> Me being here as a shepherd, my life would be different. Most shepherds don't go far with school, but just the difference with me is that I, I continue with school. I love the village. I, I mean, I, I love the rural areas. That's where I'm from. But like when you, when you, when you're from the village and then you move to the city, it's, it's the best of both worlds. You know, it's all about like experience. You see new places. You meet other people. You go to university. You meet people from different walks of life, and then you know perspectives change. You know, like a lot of people in the world don't know much about Lesotho. I mean, maybe it's just a good chance, you know, to, to tell our own stories, to represent the shepherd culture. We are in Maseru. Maseru is the, is the capital city of, of Lesotho. This is the lifeblood of, of Lesotho. This is where everything is happening. I come here to, you know, whenever there's like new famu music, to check the, the new releases. So, so to music, it's so beautiful. The way they, they, they narrate the stories, you know, the techniques, characterization. I'm just mining from different vaults. I'm just, I'm just, combining things. I'm, I can't really say this is my sound. You know, I'm, I'm inspired by Famu music, traditional Susutu music. I, I sing in, in my Susutu language. But then it's, it's, it's rock, it's electronic, it's so, I, I don't know, maybe it's a, it's a new kind of music. Hold <laughs> <laughs> Me Bato Kissina de Felam Bato, Sin Sil, who sins in some minu, you know, Ozaganzi. I would like to take the music elsewhere, you know, where people don't even understand the Susutu language. I want them to, to feel the music somehow. <laughs> We're sort of stuck in a city metropolitan lifestyles that we forget that there's other people who live elsewhere who are not worried about perhaps electricity, who are not worried about social media, who are not worried about what's happening around the world but they still they still happy they still continue with their lives there's dignity to their way of living